Moondancer. Moondancer was a young she-dragon. She had only one rider, Lady Bela Targaryen. Moondancer remained at Dragonstone with her rider, Lady Bela Targaryen, for most of the first two years of the Dance of the Dragons. When Dragonstone fell to Aegon II Targaryen, Bela was able to evade capture by escaping from her bedchambers as the door was being smashed down. She managed to reach Moondancer in the stable, loosed the dragon's chains and strapped a saddle onto her. As Aegon II flew sunfire over Dragonmont's smoking peak, planning to land triumphantly in the courtyard of the castle, Bela and Moondancer rose up to meet. The two dragons fought fiercely in the air. The younger, smaller Moondancer was far more nimble than the half-crippled Sunfire, and she managed to evade his flames, jaws, and claws for a time, while at the same time wounding Sunfire heavily on his back and malformed wing. Moondancer was blinded and a blast of Sunfire's flames hit her directly in the eyes. Despite the fire, Moondancer advanced on Sunfire, slamming into him and falling to the ground with him. Although both dragons survived the fall, Upon the ground Moondancer's speed could not defeat Sunfire's size and weight. The younger dragon was eventually killed by Sunfire. Moondancer's carcass was devoured by Sunfire. Nonetheless, Moondancer had succeeded in mortally wounding her opponent. Sunfire died in the last month of the year from wounds received during the battle. Appearance Moondancer was a slender pale green. Her horns, crest and wing bones were pearl. She was very quick both in the sky and on the ground. Although in 129 AC Moondancer was not yet considered large enough to carry the 13-year-old Bela Targaryen upon her back, a year later Bela was able to mount the dragon. At the time, she was no larger than a warhorse and weighed less. Known Dragon Riders of Moondancer Lady Bela Targaryen If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye-bye.